Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I just want to do a quick video today so hopefully you'll stick around. Okay so guys today a little bit of important news. This past week I uh I, I had filed everything a month ago to finally do the legal name change and here in the state of Ohio it's a little complicated because you have to publicize it in the local newspaper, which is incredibly nerve-wracking, by the way. Um, but I had done all that, got all my paperwork. Well, the good news is, it's officially final. I am officially me, the person that I've been, but now I have the legal recognition to go along with that. I showed up for my court hearing, which was really different, because we are in the middle of a pandemic with COVID-19. Um, so, of course, masks are required, which me and my husband wear masks anyway. That's We wore them when they weren't required um, once this pandemic started because we do this crazy thing called using our brains. But anyway, so we showed up. We had to go through um, a health screen along with the regular um, uh, metal detector and all that stuff. Um, and they had us seated outside of the probate court where we waited because they don't bring everybody in the court. So I was, of course, a little nervous because having to go in front of the judge is always a nerve-wracking experience. And this is a conservative area, so you kind of worry what a judge's opinion is going to be and if something is going to be said because you do see on the paperwork um, my dead name was very much so a male-sounding name going to my current name, which is definitely female, so it's not like you can hide the intent, what's going on from, from a judge in those scenarios. So it's always a little nerve-wracking. Um, all of this turned out to be for nothing. My nerves were shot for no reason whatsoever because they had to sit in the lobby, sit out there and wait outside the probate court, um, the uh, uh, deputy clerk, or whatever her name is, whatever her title is, I can't remember, assistant clerk. But she came out, let us know that she would be with us in just a moment. Um, and the next time she came out, she was carrying this, the paperwork. She said that because there was no one there raising objection, that the judge just signed off on it. I didn't even have to step foot in front of the judge. I've never seen the judge. I don't even know what he looks like. Um, but everything has been entered, and now I'm just in the process of getting everything switched with my driver's license and the Social Security Administration, which is complicated because Social Security offices are closed right now, so I've got to figure that out here very quickly. But very cool process that I wanted to share, very exciting news for me. So anyway, that's it for the video today. I appreciate you watching. Um, my quote from Kesha, don't let the bastards get you down. Be careful during the middle of this pandemic. We still have a long ways to go. So please be safe. Please play it smart. Please social distance and wear your mask. It's not just about you. It's definitely not about personal freedom and constitutionality and all of this BS. It's about caring for one another. And if we can't show enough respect for one another, because when you put that mask on, the life you protect may not necessarily be your own, but it could be your children. It could be your grandmother. It could be your elderly neighbor. Um, it, it's a sign that we still have human decency. We are still caring for one another. And it's a no-brainer in most Asian countries. They do it anyway, um, just out of respect for one another when they have anything going on. I think the least we can do is during this worldwide pandemic, show some common decency for our fellow man, put on a mask, and uh, just show that we care for one another. Anyway, be safe, lots of love, and I'll see you again really soon.